Alrighty, so I know everyone and their mother has already done, you know, some version of this very same video titled something along the lines of Wizard 101 in 2023. Should you play Wizard 101 in 2023? Is Wizard 101 worth playing in 2023, etc, etc. And, you know, before you clicked on this video, you probably roll, you're probably rolling your eyes a little bit just because there are so many similar videos out there. But I thought I would do my own version, you know, I had you all vote in the community tab and most people said that they would like to see one anyway, you know, another one of these kind of should you play Wizard 101 in insert year here videos. So yeah, I, I just thought I would, I thought I would do my own version today. Because I do think that this has been a very, very interesting year for Wiz and even though I haven't been super, super active on YouTube and whatnot, I'm sure a lot of people are very well aware of that, you know, even though I haven't been super active on YouTube, uh, I have still been playing the game, you know, I have a max level wizard, I have, I would say I've been doing a pretty decent job still, you know, keeping up with all of the updates and additions to the game, and I, I would say that th there is quite a few things to talk about. But let us go ahead and just answer the main question of the video real quick here, you know, can, can you guess what my answer is going to be for whether or not Wiz is worth playing in 2023? Can, can you guys guess what I'm going to say? Yeah, I, I do. I do think it is still worth playing indeed in 2023, or at least I think it is definitely worth a try for most people, 100%, just unequivocally yes. Because at the end of the day, I think this is still the same, you know, Wizards card game that we all came to know and love in our childhoods and all that. Like, the, the whole core basis of the game is still the same, and although the game is getting more complicated, you know, people could argue with, you know, new additions, new features to the game, like Arch Mastery, you know, pins, dual school setups, etc, etc, Rochambeau spells and all that, right? The core basis of the game is still the same, you know, so if you are afraid of, like, Wiz, you know, not being the same Wiz um, that it once was, I mean, I still, I just, I just need to tell you, like, it's still, it's still, you know, the fucking, like, click on a card, right, and then click on an enemy card game that we all kind of grew up with. The gameplay is still relatively simple, especially, like, in early to mid-game, and I would just like to say that I just... I just don't think it's worth it to kind of allow some of these newer features, these newer complexities that are added to the game. I don't think it's worth it for those things to just completely scare you off because Wiz is Wiz, man. Like that's that's just the simplest way I can say it. At the end of the day, you know, Wiz is still Wiz and if you enjoyed the gameplay like a couple years ago and you still think you would enjoy it now, right? But you're you're kind of worried that you're just you kind of got left behind though. Let me just tell you, like besides more content that is added to the game with just a couple new features that you always have time to get into later, right? It's still the same game. It's still the same game, absolutely. And I think if you wanted to get back into it for just nostalgic purposes, or if you just think you know you would enjoy the uh, the gameplay or whatever, or questing, whatever you really want to do, if if you think you would enjoy that stuff. I mean, really, the lo logic just kind of tells me, why wouldn't you try, you know? Like, why wouldn't you just give it a shot? Like, sure, if you've been away for a while, like, you know, things can be a bit scary sometimes. You know, it can be it can be a bit intimidating when you see that there are, like, two or three new worlds added or something like that, and just all of these additional features that you feel like you have to figure out, but Wiz is Wiz, man. Wiz is Wiz, and it's just, if you want to play Wiz, play Wiz. It's that simple. It's that simple, really. Play this game however you want it because like i said the core basis just hasn't changed that much i would also like to point attention to the fact that nowadays in wiz i just feel like there is more to do now than ever before you know especially late game just with the additions of you know raids and guilds and whatnot and just and just a plethora of new gear that you can obtain and farm for not to mention all of the sign activities that you can do which i guess you could kind of you could definitely include like raids and guilds and that category as well and of course there's there's other stuff like uh, pvp of course is a big one you know fishing i mean that that's just those are just a couple examples i mean i wouldn't personally like do fishing and monstrology and stuff like that because that's just like not my personal cup of tea but the beauty of it the, the true beauty of it is those options all of those options are still there you know you can choose to perfect your characters like for example with raid gear raid pets and whatnot just like to the best
best of your ability if you so choose to do that or you can you can just be like a more casual player you know that like i said that's the beauty of it you can choose to do whatever you want you know gear up your wizards however you see fit you know you can farm for spellments to make select spells just super super you know op in your arsenal build up overpowered pets for whatever like strategies you want to use there's just there's just a plethora of things to do not to mention also, with the new addition of the World of Novus, there is now 160 levels in total of content that you can go through now. So, you know, obviously, if, if questing's your jam, and I, I know it's my jam personally, I get so much satisfaction out of leveling up characters. You know, if that's your jam, there's a ton of content to go through now. Some people might say like 160 to 160 levels is just like too much, you know, in the games getting too long and whatnot. And I would say that's a discussion for another video, but I would say my point still stands. There is so, so much you can do. There is so much to fill your time. And I just, I just think it's a great time to get on. Novus itself too, in my opinion, I think is just a masterful world through and through. I think it has a insanely compelling storyline with, you know, design and just all of the, you know, imperialism that is present throughout the world from all of the different societies, you know, trying to take control and whatnot. I think it's a gorgeous world as well. And just, it was overall really, really fun to play through. So, you know, if you played through Lemur, last year and you're just you know you're just wondering if you should come back or whether you know the new world of Novus is worth playing or not in my opinion I think it absolutely is you know I think I think the gear is a little bit of a pain to farm for and I could probably talk about that in another video because I think just the system of farming for like Aeon and Eternal Gear and Pixels and whatnot I, I think it's extremely imperfect and they definitely need to implement some changes but you know the gear is still there if you want to go ahead and you put in the time to get it and whatnot and it's super super good gear too so you know if you kind of if you just get in the urge to upgrade your guy I mean I'm not gonna say it's a totally painless process but I mean the option is there and uh, it, it's definitely gonna fill up your time but like as a whole though I, I would say the world is extremely cool and extremely worth playing I mean, you know me guys, I'm always going to advise people who might be looking to return to the game to just buy a singular month of membership, you know, just not a huge commitment or anything like that. Just, just buy one month of membership you know, play as much as you want, and I think that will give you a pretty good idea of whether or not you want to play the game long term, because I understand if you look at the full game in front of you, you know, it can seem just a little bit daunting, so yeah, that, that is really just my best advice, just buy a singular month, if you like it, you like it, great, keep playing if you want, and if you don't, well, I mean, hey, at least, at least you tried, right, at least you tried, just without kind of like, you know, buying a year membership, or just extending that commitment, you know, even further, I, I know some people would probably be nervous about that so that that is my best advice though i think a month is more than enough time to get a good feel for this game again and you know decide whether or not you want to play it more I would also like to mention that, in my opinion, it seems like the game is becoming a lot more play to win rather than pay to win, and I'm just, I'm gonna use Aeon and Eternal Gear as the, the big kind of example here, even though, guys, I know it takes way long to get the, it takes way too long to get the gear, it's a totally flawed system, but you can definitely tell that it seems like they're going more in the direction of play to win, and even though the, the whole system of Aeon and Eternal Gear is is not great you have to admit that it does not really require you to fork over any extra cash right it just kind of requires your time and I, I know that that is valuable in and of itself but it really does seem like they are moving away from a lot of those pay to win functions and I think that's something worth noting. I think it's something worth noting because if that pattern continues, I think it could be very very beneficial for the game and just with a little bit of tweaks I think you can, I think it can make it a better game for everybody, and I mean that. Whether that means they need to increase the drop rates of the actual like tier one gear, increase drop rates of pixels, or just make it so you can use like any school's masterpiece to craft the gear that you want. I mean, there's so many things that they could do. 
But I really do think that they are heading in the right direction with this stuff, and it definitely gives me hope. All in all, the game is still getting updates, you know, it's still getting content. I think the game is honestly, I think it's pretty safe to say that the game is kind of flourishing right now a little bit. And you can see these kinds of things, right, when King's Isle decides to do stuff like, oh, you know, we're going to make the entire first arc free for a month, you know, that, that definitely means that they're getting enough, like, revenue from outside sources, right? They're getting enough revenue from outside sources to where they can make bigger portions of the game accessible for a lot of people. Now, I don't know how far they are going to go with this, but I think it is definitely something that, you know, we should keep track of and just kind of be aware about. And honestly, I, I'm optimistic. I, I would say I am definitely actually really, really optimistic. So just to those people that are kind of still making the argument, I know it's a lot less people nowadays, but I do still see it sometimes just like people kind of trying to like count down the days till this game ends and whatnot. I just, I just think that is incredibly stupid. And all things considered, I actually think things are going really, really well right now. So yeah, I, I just wanted to put that out there. But anyways, I think that is about all I wanted to say for this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. I hope I definitely convinced some of you to play. Um, just uh, yeah, let me let me know in the comments down below. But um, that that is kind of just my goal, you know, with making videos like this. So once again, I really hope you did enjoy. You can always leave a like or subscribe if you did. I, I would appreciate that very much. You know, look out for more videos and live streams in the future. And yeah, guys, that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty much all for me though. I will see you all in the next video or stream whenever that may be, so take care everybody, and peace out.